Hi, this is Tony. Are you the proud new owner of an English Cocker Spaniel puppy or an adult English Cocker Spaniel? They're wonderful dogs. They make great pets. They are wonderful with children. When you first get the dog, though, by the way, are you a first-time dog owner? If so, you may find that you're going to be dealing with a learning curve as with respect to how to potty train your dog and maybe some other issues. Well, not to worry. This website that you're looking at right now is a resource for you where you can come and get a free mini course that will teach you all you need to know about your English Cocker Spaniel. Is your dog potty trained enough? That's a question you need to ask yourself. House training a puppy or adult dog is such an essential issue for its owner that even a single exclusive tip turns out to be extremely helpful. The first step in making your dog fit for polite company would be to potty train him. Some see this training as a hassle and some as a challenge. For me, it is a part of bringing up a pet. There are a few things you need to know before you actually start potty training a puppy or adult dog. Let me tell you what these are. You need to understand your dog's body language. Watch for signs that will indicate to you when your pet wants to eliminate. If you own puppies, remember that they need to go potty at fairly frequent intervals as soon as they wake up, after short naps, after playtime, after meals, before and after being crated, and finally, before retiring for the night. Take your dog for walks at the time that he usually does his potty. Take him out to the yard and then to the same place there every time he needs to answer nature's call. Praise your dog after he eliminates at the right place. Some dog owners even give treats to their dogs, but remember to do this every time he does it right. He will relate the rewards to having done it right and zero in on the spot where you want him to defecate regularly. With time, you can try signal training. This, this is so that you know when your dog, doggy wants to go. You can hang a bell at his level near the door and teach him to push it with his nose or pat it with his paw on his way out. Until your dog has been fully potty trained, keep him under strict vigilance. Do not let him roam the house, around the house freely. Use a crate. A crate trained dog is usually very happy to get his own den. The advantage of crating is that dogs do not soil the place where they sleep so he will naturally not eliminate inside the crate. If you have a small dog and if you live in a high-rise building or in a place that does not have a proper backyard, you can try litter pan training. What you do is create a space for your pet to eliminate in your house itself. Use positive reinforcements while housebreaking puppies or adult dogs. Do not scold or hit at, as, at him as you will gain nothing by doing that. He will only associate punishment with your return from outside. If you catch him in the act, a stern no or freeze will do. It will startle the dog enough for him to stop pooping. Be prepared to return to a soiled home if you are keeping your dog home alone. For more than four hours, that separation anxiety is quite common among home alone dogs. Accidents will happen. It is unusual for a trained adult dog to work against its house training but medical problems or health disorders may lead to sudden accidents. Many dogs mark their territory. These can be a leg of a table or a particular wall. Intact male and female dogs mark their territories by urinating. Use deodorizers to spray on the places where your dog has marked. If you are patient and are ready to accept that house training a dog takes time, even months sometimes, you will end up having a good house trained dog. Now what I would like for you to do is to come to this website. You're going to scroll down. You're going to enter your name, your dog's name, and your email address. Click the subscribe link, and they're going to send that free mini course directly to your inbox. And it's going to have other tips in there such as uh, nutritional needs and uh, things to consider when uh, choosing a veterinarian, etc. This has been Tony. I want to thank you for listening today.